What's going on? Welcome. This is Bit Savage, and I want to teach you a little bit more about Manifold. Manifold is a platform. Uh, it's for creators. It's for companies. It's for individuals. It's for testers. Everyone out there that wants to create NFTs and own the contract and have more control. If you don't want to use a general contract like uh, on Rarible or OpenSea, you can use this tool on Manifold to mint NFTs on Ethereum. And as you see here on this site, it says all in one tool that combines the power of Manifold Creator with a seamless user interface to mint your own NFTs with zero coding required. Now, even though that's the case, this is almost like WordPress, Squarespace, no coding required, but there is some still, I want to say a few hurdles to really use the dashboard. Uh, if you're building websites in WordPress, you have to learn how to use the templates, how to use the widgets. You, know, you have to go on Google and research this stuff. So even though it's very simple, there's still a few hurdles to jump over to get your NFTs to mainnet and on platforms like OpenSea, looks rare, wearable. I don't go through uh, a walkthrough. Okay, and oh, before we jump right in, I want to go to Twitter real quick and give a shout out to Noah's. Uh, Web3 photographer knows uh, is doing a drop actually so as you see there's a, some incredible artwork incredible design animated photos and check this out so there's some new stuff coming out no Alonzo so shout out to no Alonzo doing a drop on ash where is the image let me scroll down here it goes and that's coming up so this sparked a lot of things no Lonzo so it's no owls the first and last thing combined and so yeah so I was like yo dope I want to be a part of this and and I want to help out so I'm just you know using my knowledge to anyone out there that's why I'm making this video and I want to do more videos like this because I know this these tools sometimes can be tricky so when you come and you connect your wallet I'm going to jump over to a document I made and it's good this is what's going to pop up you go to the website it's going to say sign up you can use your name or your twitter name whatever you want you have to use email so they confirm it's you and optional to do your twitter once you get that it's going to say confirm email it's going to say thanks for signing up and it's going to send you an email simple enough then you're going to go to your email confirm then it's going to say please click here so i know <laughs> sometimes it'll come back here you're like what do i do next read the small text please click here so you want to click here that's next a lot of people get lost there we're back on track <laughs> then it says first ready for your first contract you click new contract now, what does this mean so NFTs use smart contracts you have to program them so you can use if you heard of ERC 721 ERC 1155 uh, different there's different protocols different contracts for different types of NFTs now the two major popular ones are ERC721, Crypto Kitties started with that back in 2017, ERC1155 came out I believe 2018 with Engine and some incredible things and I was there when ERC1155 went online with Engine and doing a bunch of things back in 2018 so been here for a while and what's coming next is what's happening now it's cross-chain collections cross-chain NFTs we'll get into that later alright so like it said you click new contract now you can choose some people use ERC 721s for one of one NFTs some people use ERC 1155 you, you can test the waters uh, a rule of thumb you can do limited editions batches so you can do 11 11 100 100 1000 of 1000 10,000 you can create these with ERC 1155 most likely ERC 721s for one of one but you can bend the rules okay after you do that it's gonna say create a SCII signature I use that website so this is what it looks like you can take the text take an image make it into text and then you paste it there for the signature I right, follow along I'm gonna go a little bit slower <laughs> so after you get your signature you can make an image let me go back to Twitter I showed you this one so look this is ERC 721 contract no owls and this is the imagery so most likely you made this in Photoshop or Canva you can make this wherever you want you get the code the text code you paste it in that box and you click preview and it'll show you something like this 
All right, and then after that, you have to deploy on rank B. Rank B. So testnet. You have to go to testnet first, and this is a way to review because once you go to mainnet, you you can't. It's immutable. You can't undo it. So let's see. Rank B. Go to rank B first, and then it's gonna say. So what's gonna happen? It's gonna say switch to network. So you're gonna be on mainnet. Then you have to switch to rank B testnet. Click switch. All right. Now you also need test neck tokens. You can get some from a faucet. There's a few online. You can get rank B, rank B test net tokens. After you do that, it's going to show you. Look how it's a very minimal, minimal transaction fee on, on test net. You want to click confirm. So repeat. If you're on mainnet, you can switch to test net, rank B test net, switch network. And then you're going to have to confirm the smart contract. It's going to go to testnet. All right. So yes, testnet tokens. Use a faucet. And what? So what you want to do on testnet is review. Make sure everything's right. I'm gonna go back to Twitter. Make sure the contract name is right. The symbol is right. The type is right. You want to make sure all those things are right before you go to mainnet. All right. So you reviewed, and this is what it's going to look like. It's gonna say, "Yeah, you did it. Deploy it on rank B." Now, after you review, you can edit. So you can edit this. You can, if you want to change the collection, the symbol, the type, you can change that. You can change the signature, the AS, CII. You can change all of that. And if it looks good, then you say, okay, deploy to mainnet. So right here it says, go to dashboard. You can click right here. Go to dashboard. You see the little button that says go to dashboard? So you can click that. You're going to go to your dashboard, and it's going to shape. It's going to show your collect your smart contracts. So it says rank B. It's highlighted. It's letting you know this is test net. Now you can also mint tokens on test net. You don't have to. But if you want to test out everything, like most developers, this is what the devs do behind the scenes. <laughs> the devs are doing something behind the scenes. They're testing everything. So lots of stuff is happening on test net. They're testing smart contracts. They're testing tokens. They're making sure everything works, communicates, images show up. There's a lot of steps behind the scene and you know people collectors or whoever is you know not behind the scenes they're like can you do something what's going on lots of work is going on behind the scenes so give people patience their mental health is most important you don't want to be stressing them rushing them i can tell you stress can get the best of you so if you're a developer take your time take a walk you know meditate go jogging do some yoga exercise you know three Max four hours at a time, take a break, come back, eat, give yourself some rest. Please stop stressing the devs out. <laughs> devs do something. The devs did something. All right, so right here you can see it says edit contract or deploy to mainnet. So you can, if you edit, you're good, then you click deploy to mainnet. It's a really good feeling. It says deploy your contract. This will be permanent. You sure you want to do this? <laughs> you can't go back. Name, symbol, type artwork nothing can be changed so either not yet or let's go let's freaking go um so you, like i said you don't have to do this right here it says mint a token on rank b you don't have to do that you can just send the smart contract to mainnet and start doing tokens on mainnet you don't have to, you don't have to mint to test net i should say all right so once you do that it's going to say new token you can mint a new token so tokens are nfts so you're depending on this one says let me go erc 1155 that's the type of token go to no owls erc721 so that's the token where it says new token that's what you'll mint the contract you picked click mint new token and you're off and on your horses so now you got to go back to mainnet so once you're ready to go to mainnet it's gonna say oh we gotta go from rank b back to mainnet so switch back to the network once you're back to mainnet click mint new token and this is what it's going to look like. You can drop an image, a video, an audio, a HTML file, a GLB file, 3D interactive. Fill out all the text box. You have to. Properties fill all this out. You can use an animation and a GIF or thumbnail. Um, then once you drag in an image, it's going to say upload. So it's uploading the Arweave, IPFS. And... And then, yeah, you fill in your properties. So make sure you have all this written out. You can write it out on a side. 
beforehand. Um, just in case the page reloads or something happens, happens to me many, many of times. Make a Google Doc or a text sheet with all your information. Because if it's erased from here, it's gone. So once you fill all that in, you see up here what it says meant to main that. Bam. It's so that these are simple steps. It just sometimes you need some hand holding. I'm here to hold hands. Let's kiss babies. Let's do it. <laughs> Now, if you don't fill out all the boxes, you click Mint to Mainnet, it's going to say form data is invalid. This happens too. So, remember, all your data can get deleted if you don't save it, and the form can say invalid if you don't fill it out right. So, most times, if you don't fill it out right, you'll see the red boxes. You got to come back and fill in everything, and then try to Mint to Mainnet. So, those are two things to look out for. Um, and then after that, you're done. It'll It'll appear say you can view it. And the next thing, I'll probably do another video. So this was a lot. So take all that in to use that. But obviously the next thing is to create a collection. So you can go to like OpenSea, Rarible, Looks Rare. You got to go to those sites to create your collection. Because uh, what will happen is they'll show up and they'll say unidentified collection, unidentified items. They don't know what you're doing. So you have to actually, let me go to collection. I'm going to OpenSea. Oh, this is data blocks so this is open C. so you see how it says data blocks up here this is the banner you have to come to open C. it's going to say unidentified so you have to go to click edit and then you're going to put a banner in there you'll put an image in there you'll title it uh, you'll give it a description so this is everything you have to do it'll be unidentified you have to fill all this out after you fill out the data put in the banner put in the profile pfp uh, you have to set a royalty and that's how you use OpenSea so if you don't know how to use OpenSea you have to learn how to use OpenSea um, but let me go to the NFT so you see the NFT this all well, all the description the about the details that all come from Manifold you see got website now you can add this as well on OpenSea you can add your website your discord your Twitter that's going to come up on Etherscan so you can add all of this in OpenSea um, and let me see if it says it doesn't show us the royalty on here I don't think so um, but yeah so once you set all of that then manifold manifold will be set already but once you set it all of that on OpenSea then people can find it they can look it up if it's called Zen blocks or if it's called no owls they can they can look that up on OpenSea um, and that's that's it so if you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter. Uh, Phenomenal Mark on Twitter. That is me, Bit Savage, and I am a I I call myself a cross chain creator. So I'm big on inter blockchain communication. You know everything talking to one another. That's what's happening now. It's happening right now in front of our faces. So back in 2018, I told everyone NFTs will be the the holy grail. That came true. And now I'm saying cross chain. This listen, this is even bigger than crypto. I mean, everything leads into one another. So Bitcoin came out, Ethereum came out, NFTs came out, cross chains coming out. Like these are steps that need to need to be taken. So do not sleep on cross chain. Uh, if you're a maximalist, that's fine. Just open your eyes to what's going on. Um, yeah, I got my own collections coming out. Uh, support a lot of creators out there and yeah let's let's have some fun all right now thanks so much for tuning in quite like i said questions hit me up on twitter um this is youtube ask questions here i have a discord you can join a discord i want to do more of these i want to give out more information I want to help people uh, i want us all to succeed so thanks for everyone that supported me so far i have a collection right now uh and it's, it's a little gamified you know it's called ash games that's the gamification part and it's gamified for my art, for my collections that I release. So it's a passive game. You can collect and you, you'll win one of ones. You'll win small editions. Uh, it's a way of me giving back to my early supporters and collectors. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm working on more things. And you know, I'm here to build and see the space grow and thrive. So thanks everyone for your support. Shout out to Ash Community. Shout out to everyone. Shout out to Cross Chain. I got things dropping and dripping. It's coming to you. Peace.